this is part J, where we actually look at the specifics of the animation clips for the enemy, for the melee. Both components, as alluded to in the previous video, discussing concepts and sort of general considerations for uh, what is good or useful in a melee system. In the original animation here, you sometimes do have animations where, um, in a melee situation, for whatever reason, the enemy is not really attacking too much, so an almost strictly defensive reaction, as if it doesn't have a melee uh, interaction, then you can build on that, as discussed in the last video, to kind of have a bit of both, because it's more interesting to have, a, basically you want a stake for, you don't want a cheap mechanic in your game where everyone just says, well, just run up to the robot or run up to the enemy and start bashing it with the gun. Um, it doesn't fight back. And you can defeat it with a melee. That feels like a cheap kind of workaround or exploit or way to cheese the game. So you want there to be something at stake. And like I said, in the Fallout 76 game, they have these robots called the Protectrons and these different robots, and they do a great job. They come up to you, and they do this two-arm thrash, and then they keep trying to kind of step in on you and kind of beat you down. And then you hit them, and they kind of back off, and then if you hit them again a few times, then you eventually defeat them. So it's a good system. It's an interesting system. Um, our game model here is, is working around the... Uh, premise that the enemies are very aggro. I mean, they shoot you, they come at you, they chase, they come to you, they don't run away, they don't escape, they don't avoid. Only if you get out of range do they go back to a sort of home position. This one is, it's its harder to see because it's sped up for the sake of the video. Um, it's set up, obviously, for the second stage, as discussed, that sort of when it's a more serious um, bashing by your character or hero first person controller then maybe a second animation the uh, the enemy kind of recoils and staggers back the way a boxer is punch drunk and sort of you know staggers back and has to get his footing before coming back into the you know, fray um there was a title in the last video that explained you know this time you do as i'm showing here you do want to actually move. Now, it seems counterintuitive, right? Like, all our animations up till now, especially for the enemy, have been all in place. But keep in mind that the enemy capsule, okay, if you will, the collider capsule or collider shape, the nav mesh agent representing your enemy, is probably going to be staying up close to you, um, trying to follow that target point as close as possible. And this is kind of a cheat, because what's happening, remember, you won't be seeing that capsule, right? But what this is going to do is that capsule will be in place, and the, this model will now kind of step back through it invisibly, and kind of then step back forward through the capsule, you know? So it kind of fakes out the the idea that it's staggering back, but really the capsule, the controller for the enemy is not, okay? Keep in mind that this is sort of like a local um like a local transform that's happening here like when you map this animation with this avatar to the controller the enemy controller okay if it's staying in place when this animation plays this model is still going to move back a step and then move forward a step okay now, if the capsule happens to move a step back, it's going to move two steps back. Do you know what I mean? So you have to keep that in mind. This is kind of using, um, um, by understanding how it works, okay, when you, when you attach the model or attach the FBX to the placeholder, okay, to the enemy controller, okay, 
we're working here under the assumption just like before like when the enemy comes right up to you and is in your face that enemy controller stays we're not going to do any scripting to say oh he got wounded and now move the nav mesh agent controller back a pace you know we're just going to have it play an animation where you know pretend that he's just leaning back you know or staggering or just swooning you know um don't be confused by the fact that there's a step here it's just a it's almost like an optical illusion you know um yes the model moves a step back but because the capsule will be in place um it'll work you know and and uh we don't have to do any crazy scripting for uh the actual enemy controller itself uh the animation helps us kind of kind of create something s special without having to be so clever with scripting you know okay